Apparently there's been another reduction in songbird numbers. They might be right and all dog chorus isn't what it used to be. Oh, come on, don't be like this, honey pie. It's just general inquiries. There's nothing general about my only son and the police. Well, he's my lad as well. Yeah, well, I'm the one who does all the worrying. It's getting like the bad old days, Eddie. Me circling the wagons while you pull your grubby little scams and your brain-dead brother gets up to his old tricks. Oh, give Len a break, Mammy. I ain't done out. Oh, come off it. His paw prints are all over this pipe business. What? Do you think I was born yesterday? And I'll tell you something else. If I find out that you're even remotely involved... How can you even say that? Just consider yourself warned. So what are your plans for today, then? I don't know, I might have a wonder. Yeah, well, you'll give that David Platt a wide berth. Oh, relax, yeah, he's not even on my radar. It better not be, cos there's any more shenanigans, you can forget the police, you've got me to answer to, is that flaming clear? Yes, Mum. See ya. And everything I've said, it goes <coughs> double for you. <coughs> Your head. Right, uh... As if you care. She couldn't give a tuppence about the likes of us. I'm sorry. Oh, don't come all butter wouldn't melt with me. After the way your boyfriend spoke to my Eddie. Talk about kicking a man when he's down. Well, your husband seems to have made a full recovery. That's because he's a survivor. Just like my Gary. You might remind your son of that next time he goes telling porkies to the police. Well, if your son is as innocent as you say he is, then he's nothing to worry about, has he? Uh, yeah, can I help you? Oh, no, no, you're all right. I'm just enjoying the show. <laughs> Glad we can entertain you. Oh. I'm sure we'll carry this on at a later date. You know, you two are a godsend. Ooh, you really are. <laughs> That's the first time anyone's ever said that about us. <laughs> Hiya. Just the man. You got me. How are you feeling? Oh, no, so-so. More of a bruised ego than anything else. Look, again, I'm really gutted about losing the subs. Oh, don't be daft, you were mugged. Well, all the same, I should have been more careful. Got what I'd um, cash them scumbags took. Hey, your health's more important. Ah, oh, isn't it, Joss? Mm -hmm. I suppose you suppose. Shame about the darts, though. I reckon I could have done some damage. Oh. See? I knew you'd still be up for it. None of the others believe me. What are you on about? An old schoolmate of mine manages a pub league. He reckons he can sort as a late entry. It, it, it was going to be a surprise. Oh, well, it certainly is that. <laughs> hey, look, look. Kirk, I, I appreciate the thought, but you don't have to go to any trouble on my behalf. It's a done deal, Eddie. All you need to ring is the magic. All quiet on the uh, Western Front. Well, if you're on about Mam, then there's a couple of rounds left in her yet, but she's uh, slowly calming down. Should it be worried? No, but it wouldn't hurt to grow eyes on the back of your head. Why like that, is it? She reckons you lead me astray. <laughs> now, that woman hasn't a clue when it comes to you. Oh, had a tug from Manchester's finest. Didn't take long. How was it? Uh, they were just fishing. All rod, no tackle. So we're in the clear. By the shell. When do we uh, cash up? A couple more days. Be on the safe side. Oh, we've had a total result. Definitely tidy. You know, you can almost feel sorry for that fella, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I am getting way too good at this. Hey, you're learning. I'll give you that. We made our takeout by the sounds of things, pal. Yeah, funny. Oh, yeah, I wish it was. You know, it's hard enough in a building game without scum like you making it harder. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right, so the police just pulled you in for the pleasure of the company, did they? Oh, they pulled me because Pratt opened his gob. Then they let me go again because they ain't got anything. I shouldn't hold your breath. I didn't do it. And why would David make it up? Oh, because he saw me out on the rob. Well, you just... I'm not on about copper piping. I mean, his missus. It's her I'm stealing and he knows it. That's why he framed me for this job at your place. Why should I believe you? Look, I don't care if you believe in the tooth fairy, to be honest, mate. I'm just telling you how it is, and that's more than Pratt will ever do for you. Or have I got him wrong? 
Is it? It depends on the person. Some people you never be mates with. Uh, one eight. It's gonna ask her out tonight. Sure, oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Don't you mean how can I help you, sir? All right, I'll have large chips, one off each shoulder, no sort of vinegar. Don't come in with me. My dad's in bits because of you. Or he's sick. It's not my fault he can't keep his hands to himself. That's it, get out. All right, out of order. But how you're feeling now, yeah? I felt my whole life. People always pointing the finger at me and my family, accusing us. I'm sick of it. Oh, my heart bleeds. But you can stick, you sub story. You were seen. Oh, yeah, by that reliable witness, your boyfriend. He saw what he saw. If he saw anything, he saw what he wanted to see. He hates me and he's scared. What of? Oh, come on, you're out of his league and he knows it. You can see what's happening between us. Nothing is happening and it never will. I disagree. You tell me you don't feel threatened. That he's not possessive, jealous. What do you want? You. To know the truth. All right, fair enough, maybe your dad's innocent. But that doesn't make me guilty. Not this time. 